So a very, very common encounter in everybody's fitness journey is plateauing. So this is where we're not seeing the progress that we like. We're maybe not getting the results. We're putting in the work. We think we're taking care of our training. We believe we're taking care of our nutrition, but the results are showing otherwise. So in this video, I'm breaking down how we can break out the plateaus, what can be causing the plateaus, and how we can change this and start seeing some crazy fucking progress. So stick around to the end of the video. You don't want to miss this. It's going to be a banger. So yeah, tune in. All right, so plateauing comes from not pushing yourself hard enough in the gym. You may just be stuck on the same weight. I first started training maybe two years ago, and the entire first year, I didn't really increase the weight, especially when I got into the gym. I remember this off my heart. I was doing incline dumbbell press with the 28 kilos for, like I moved to this new gym, I started on the 28s. Six, seven months, six or seven months later, I was still on the 28s. And it was concerning me, I was like, well, why? Why am I letting myself just use the 28s? I wasn't even actually pushing. Try to use the 30s, try to use the 32s. And then after about four or five weeks of changing it up, I was already back on the 32s, pushing heavier weight. And that's for actually challenging myself, identifying that I've got a current problem. That's a step one. You have to identify you're not seeing progress. You have to become the person that's very, very fucking accountable. If you're not accountable, you're going to let yourself slide and you're just going to not really push yourself. So once you become accountable with yourself and you understand, all right, this is all my own fault. I'm currently not seeing any progress because of what I'm doing wrong now. So you've identified the problem, so now what can we do to actually push you forward to stop the plateauing and start seeing some real progress? We're going to have to understand what our nutrition is actually looking like. If we're not seeing any significant gains or any weight change in our maybe weight loss journey, you're obviously not eating right, you're not tracking your calories enough, you might not even be tracking your calories at all, you're just willy nilly. So you're just throwing numbers in here and there, you're not really caring, you're thinking, all right, I'm at the gym. I'm productive. I'm at the gym, so all the work is being done. No way. Nutrition is 70% of any result you're going to see in the gym. So you can have your training down to a T and see, you can see good results, but they may be minimal. But when you start tailoring your nutrition and actually eating right, that's when things start to pick up and start to take off. So now we've understood the nutrition can be significantly impacting the results you're seeing in the gym. What do we actually need to eat? What do we need to consume in order to see a certain result? So essentially, all you want to do is work out your calories per day. I've spoke about this in a lot of videos before. Work out how many calories you should be eating and tailor a plan specifically to yourself. So you might hate all this chicken and rice type of food. So you can eat burgers. You can still eat what you want. You don't have to give up anything. Do a flexible dieting system. So don't give up all the favorite foods. Don't sacrifice it. Weight loss is going to be a journey. It's going to be a long journey. So include the foods you love. But make sure you're staying in that deficit. And if you're not tracking them at all, you're going to get so, so lost. Track your calories. So now, the nutrition side of things, we're sorted. We're tracking calories now. We're understanding what we're eating, what we're putting in, and how many are burning. So now we've figured out the nutrition, the next thing that's gonna impact your gains is your actual training as a whole. How many days a week are you training? If you're training two or three times a week, you're not really gonna see crazy results. If you're a beginner, you should train minimum four or five days to see any actual real progress. But what are we doing when we get into the gym? Are we training shoulders, legs, and abs? Are we training chest, arms, shoulders? Are we just training random shit? Or do you have a structured plan? Do you track your weight every session? Do you make sure you're gonna push and actually progressively overload? Which is what I spoke about earlier in the video, where I was just staying at the same weight. You have to progressively add weight. So let's say I won the 28s again for 10 reps. I'm gonna try to do the 30s for five, 30s for six. Just try and increase the weight, lower the reps, and then start going on to more strength type training. So if you're even training for strength, you can just do five sets of five heavy reps. And over time, it's gonna add up and you're gonna see a lot more significant progress because the weight is currently adding up every single session. But if you're not challenging yourself in the gym, that's the missing part of the equation. You just go into the gym thinking, I'm here, I'm productive. No way. You're gonna go on the cardio for 20 minutes. Then you're gonna just do a few sets of machines and you think you're done. If you don't have a structured training routine that's tailored to you and it's not really going to align you with your goals, you're wasting your time as a whole. If you're just going on every machine you look at just because it's free, you're wasting your time. You want to focus on one to two specific muscle groups per session. You don't want to just train six different muscle groups in one session. You don't want to train full body because it's not going to be maximal for the gains. If you want to see maximum gains, train one to two body parts. So do big body parts at a time. So do chest and back. But don't just do one exercise on chest and one exercise on back. Do four to five exercises with like three or four sets of each. And make sure you're actually challenging yourself. 
and you're picking a challenging weight, if you don't challenge yourself, you're not gonna see the results. And that's why nothing's paying off when you go into the gym, because you're not really trying. You're not really putting in as much work as you know you should be. So an easy way to break out of that is get somebody to start training with you. Get a workout partner and someone who's dedicated to the sport, dedicated to seeing actual progress. So whenever I go train somebody, or train with somebody, all we do is push each other. When they're failing on the heavy reps, give them a hand. Make sure they can get a few extra half reps in there at least. Because when you start pushing each other, you bring the best out of each other. You're going to see the most gains. But last of all, you need to have the mindset that you're going to succeed. You need to have the mindset that you can do anything in your fitness journey. You can achieve your certain goal in any time possible. You can do it in record time. You have to truly believe I'm going to get to this weight loss goal as fast as possible and I'm going to get there and I'm not going to stop until I get there. You're not going to one day stumble upon losing 25 pounds of weight. You're not going to stumble upon putting on 10, 15 pounds of muscle. It's through hard work. You don't just stumble upon anything in life. You don't just stumble upon a hundred grand a year job. You have to put the work in first to then get results elsewhere. If you don't put the work in, in any area of your life or you're going to neglect certain parts of your training, it's going to show in your results. That's why you're not seeing the results you want. That's why you're not seeing progress. It's a very simple way to break things down. Am I not seeing progress? No, I'm not seeing progress. All right, what's my training looking like? Well, I'm training three times a week and I'm slacking. I'm not really pushing myself. I'm not really tracking calories. That's the equation solved. Get someone to hold you accountable. Train with somebody. Push each other to the max. And make sure everything's down to a T. Make sure everything's tailored per perfectly to you. Because if not, be happy with mediocre. Be happy not seeing crazy results. So if you're really lost, you don't know what you're doing in your fitness journey, I'm looking for an opportunity for two more students to join the winning team. I've got some crazy, crazy testimonials and crazy transformation from people who I currently work with. Everybody in my program sees results and sees progress faster than ever because everything is tailored specifically to them. We're going to include different types of training. We're going to make it work with your busy schedule. We're going to make it work with the foods you love so you don't have to give up. You don't have to do restrictive dieting to gain all the weight back. Everything's going to work for you. So if you're interested in joining the team, just comment your favourite emoji in the comments and I'm going to reach out with some information. And let's get seeing some progress together and push you with that step further on your fitness journey. If not, continue staying happy with being mediocre. But I'm looking for the true winners and I'm looking for the true warriors this time. So if you are truly interested, book yourself into a call, like the video, subscribe and get ready for tomorrow. We're going to be dropping some crazy good game. So get ready for that. Goodbye and God bless.